Welcome back. In an exclusive interview for kickoff this afternoon, John Aldridge has been talking to Clive Tilsley about Liverpool's decision to let him go. John, if Liverpool and Real Sociedad can agree terms, what are you going to do? Well, um, obviously, uh, I'd speak with the, with the Spanish team, you know, see what the score is on that. But it's never really been my desire to, to leave Liverpool. Uh, as you know, coming here two and a half years ago, it was my dream move of all time. And I've done fairly, fairly well since I've been here. But, but now, you know, you don't, you don't seem to get the games. And I'm sitting on the bench and I seem to be wasting a bit of my career away. It does seem as though Liverpool are prepared to sell you, though, now. It looks that way, yeah. Obviously, they've, they've talked terms with the um, real Sociedad. Um, so they must be prepared to let me go, which uh, is sad, really. Um, and the writing seems to be on the wall a bit. Are you surprised? Um, not really. Uh, I suppose it's good business from their point of view, you know, 30 going on 31. And to get a million pounds, whatever, for, the, for a player that age, you know, it, it's a lot of money. And uh, as you get older, you know, you devalue and that. So that's the way they must be looking at it. Strikers are supposed to be over the top at 31. Are you over the top? No, I think I've got a good couple of years left in myself, yeah. Do you feel as though you could still do for Liverpool in this coming season what you've <clears> done for them in the last two? Definitely, yeah. Yeah, given the chance, but that's another thing. Um, the gaffer seems to be happy with Peter and, and Rushy partnership up front. Uh, so, so really, I've got to look at it in, in the light of that and, and I'll just take it from there, really. Even a greatest place like this, you know, it, you have to probably go elsewhere. And I say that with like a lump in my throat, you know, it's uh, it got me, but, <clears throat> but you know, it's something that you've got to do. Yes, you virtually grew up on those terraces behind you. Yeah, that's right. I was supported Liverpool there since I was 17. Uh, I had two and a half tremendous years, you know, as I don't want to go, but, you know, looking on everything, now what, what's happening, like, you know, it might be, might be time that I have to go, I don't know. What does this club mean to you? Means means hell of a lot, hell of a lot, you know. Next to me family and and that, you know, it's uh, it's it's me life. Well, you know, it has been for so for so for so many years. You're right in what you're thinking. There's no sentiment in football. Well, next stop for Aldridge, Lansdowne Road, a friendly for the Republic of Ireland against West Germany on Wednesday night. We're continuing our international theme this week, a competition. Now, while you're scratching around for a pen and paper, here's details of what's to be won. Replica strips of your choice, any kit, any size, by any of the major suppliers. We're going to show you a World Cup goal, quite simply, who's in the number 20 shirt? Right, who scored that goal in the number 20 shirt? Answers on a postcard, please, and do include your phone number. It's a big help to us. Kickoff, Granada Television, Manchester M69EA. Kickoff, Granada Television, Manchester m 69 